and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Demacia midrange. As y'all know, this is my favorite rank up deck. Uh, we've had a rough day so far in ranked, um, and so hoping to turn it around here with my favorite deck here. Um, definitely a lot of fun to play. We're focused on uh, using Challenger and a bunch of barriers to have uh, really good combat. Of course, we have the Fiora that can be an alternate win condition. And then we just have some uh, other strong cards. Vanguard Bannerman is like the reason why we're all Demacia. Um, getting that allegiance, always granting our allies plus one, plus one, 100% of the time is really nice. Um, we could definitely splash like one card somewhere. But I don't really know what to splash. Or like it doesn't really seem like we need any any different region that it's worth the like sometimes that the Bannerman wouldn't hit. Probably our weakest card in the deck is the Scythria, but I just wanted a little bit more one drops than just Tracker. So the Scythria is probably our, our weakest card in the deck. I st I think like you know so far I've been I've been satisfied with Scythria more than you know we're not playing Mage Seeker Conservator, but uh, because like if playing Mage Seeker Conservator our opponents could just completely ignore it and it just would never die kind of thing but if we could get this to die get that six cost spell could be nice um but yeah our this uh this deck's been working pretty well but that that maybe that's the spot that like maybe there's a better one drop in a different region that you know like if we can play any any one drop in any region because you know we could just play a second region and just replace the two Scythrias. There's probably a better one drop somewhere. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if that's like Legion Rearguard or Legion Saboteur. Uh, you know, Navori Blade Scout, Omen Hawk. I, I don't know. Um, even Precious Pet isn't bad. So may, maybe, maybe that's like a thing to do is just replace like these two one drops with one of those others. But anyway, we're going to just have full on Demacia. Uh, that, you know, replacing those would mean that you would miss with your Bannerman sometimes. Uh, very, very slight chance of missing, but you may miss. But yeah, let's see if we can uh, get some wins here. Um, I don't think we really need Rekindler. That's not that six mana up there. I, I, don't, I don't really want Rekindler over any other cards I'm playing. I could see upgrading the one the one mana slot. Let's go ahead and one a two drop. Let's go ahead and mulligan. I'm definitely keeping Scythrian and I'm definitely keeping Bannerman. It's just would I want to mulligan one of these? Um, you know, Sergeant draws a card, Redeemer draws a card, so they're both card advantage. I'll just keep them both and hope that one of our top two cards is a two drop. Right, yeah, you can definitely spike some random wins with Judgment. Um, I think I started with a Judgment in the deck whenever I was started with the deck, but ended up, ended up taking it out. Um, Don't get in my way. It's kind of similar to back to back. Back to back is also I've always got you pretty game winning. Don't worry about me. Break their spirit and their sword. Burn away the shadows. It really puts us in a difficult spot. Lucian and Senna. You're covered. Harry, Oh. 
sleep when they're dead. We're getting out Demacia'd right now. For now. Without a sound. Should have mulliganed this sergeant and redeemer right about now. For the glory of Demacia. Please control. Burn away the shadows. So they'll be able to they'll be able to rally Strike hard strike true Next game. I, I don't know. How, I don't have any more ways to say that. Say, wow, my opponent had a devastating card and ran out of him. So I could see the vanguard being able to take out like multiple spiders. Where are you? Which is why I kept that that one. I'd follow you anywhere. Of course you would. No, 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 no. Away from my pets. For the honor of God. I don't need to use that single combat. Like, we get to kill a 1-1. One, one. I, I don't need to use it right now. We'll just hold on to it.
go with the Fiora, which means we get to play these other one drops. I'll write my own story. Always two steps ahead. I expect them to have another Black Spear that's going to kill my Fiora. I'm going to keep them from drawing two cards. Surprise there. One candle for every soul. Hey, Wrinkler. Hope you're having a good Sunday. This Warshafts isn't a bad draw. It's gonna use Warshafts and have one kill in Elise, but they just got another Elise. We'll have like the back to back to help us play some defense. Bannerman's just an amazing draw. That's that's like our best draw. Yeah, like that was probably our best draw. Really hoping they play something free combat. Nope. We get to play Bannerman. No mark of the aisles. Mark of the aisles would have killed me. Ouch. 
Ouch. I wanted to kill the Rasa with the Lancer, but I guess we'll just kill this thing. Now. So now we don't get to make any other attacks. Stand strong! Their spirit and their sword. Head to the base. You call this a fight? Aha. In the name of our land. Eat up, friend. All right, let's make this big attack. See what happens. So we'll lose two creatures. They lose four creatures. Looks like I'm just dead. That was pretty good having another Hecarim plus two Arachnid Horrors in hand. Not bad. Be able to cast exactly 10 mana worth of creatures. And uh, another Hecarim. I don't know, man. This is just not my day. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what we're doing anymore. I can't catch any breaks whatsoever. No one drop, no two drop. Hey, we've got a champion. Not necessarily a good card. For this non creature matchup. So playing my largest creatures toughness wise. Make it so it's not easy for them just to use their removal spells on them. Fema with the raid. Welcome everybody from Fema stream. Hope you had a lot more luck over there today than I have had. I have had a day of my opponents playing all sorts of great spells over and over and over. It's been a rough one. A symbol worth fighting for. 
You're an expedition. Okay. What What'd you use? What'd you get for the champions and expedition? Surprised they killed that thing and not this thing. Two S, two Karma. Oh yeah, that's that sounds good. And you got a seven win. Yeah, that is awesome. Good job. You kill the guy when he attacked you with a lethal ten ten Trindamir with Ezreal. That's got to be a little frustrating for them. All right, we get to Redeemer, draw a card. But good job, good job. Strength in gray, in the blade. Oh, those turn into repose. I probably should have played that pre-combat then. I was thinking for some reason that was going to turn into judgment, but that's Garen that turns into judgment. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Yeah, back to back was lethal with no more freeze, but I don't. I didn't expect them to have no more freeze. I, I expected that if I cast back to back, they would play harsh winds, and I would have just wasted a card in six mana. You would test my steel. All right, Fima. Thanks for the raid. Been doing win one out of three. Strike going to. Strike Seemed like it'd been a while since we won one. <laughs> although, although he carries a lantern, Thresh has excellent night vision. What? I don't know why that ever comes up. But I guess good to know. Thresh has excellent night vision. I'm surprised they blocked that Omen Hawk. Oh, because they have Black Spear. All right, figured it out. That's fine. Trade two, two of their spells for that one. One banner, one destiny. Show me a target. All right, so they have another Frostbite card. But I'll just have him play it. Save the six life. 
all that kind of stuff. Got everything. Got everything. Yeah, we have more cards, but this Ash is going to be killing us very soon. Wow, we actually got Ash out of here. They have to have a backup Ash, right? But if they had a backup Ash, they would just cast it as the Flash Freeze. And save the bigger Ash, so that doesn't make sense. Wow. Why would they make that block? Oh. Yeah, sure. Why not? Never mind. Figured it out. Figured it out. No Dirt Messy, I've started to play this game instead. And I wrote about why I like Legends of Runeterra so much in that Google document a couple of weeks ago, if you want to check that out. Doesn't really seem like it today. Can't catch a break. Everything in my first hand costs three or more, so I mulliganed. Look for cheaper stuff. What does he want from me? Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Sharp blade, sharp mind. Strike without worry. Does not count as a Fiora kill. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. What's that noise? 
never sparred, Fiora. The outcome was obvious. The sump rock got me good. So with playing an on guard. In general, would you attack with Fiora even if you didn't have the barrier in hand, manage protector, assuming the opponent had man available? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to win with Fiora. It's still probably a good attack. Yeah, that's true. That's probably different from like yeah, from an all in Fiora deck. But like this deck, yes. You'd still make that attack, but all in Fiora deck, maybe not. So I was planning on having this thing tried to kill their crocolith, but with them passing and them passing with all that mana available, um, I didn't play it and or didn't. For justice, for Demacia. Good luck out there, recruit. Captain Crown Guard, I'm Cithrian. In the name of our land. Please, I have connections. Could have had judgment there. I was wondering if like that's what they were setting up. As you can tell, I didn't I didn't play around it still, but that could have been what they were trying to set up. No 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 no. Hey, Escoria. Miss me playing some magic. I I haven't really missed it. I'm enjoying Legends of Runeterra instead. Smell that? A bicycle. Well, hopefully this is like a lethal attack. They can block the Cythria, but that's it. I guess those things couldn't block anyway. But all right, not a lethal attack anymore. Close. I fight for the fallen. There's a ruination deck also. Virtue guides me. Yeah, I mean, I played into that because I was definitely not expecting that.
I should probably just stop playing. Played that game so bad. I'm just so on tilt right now from just how this whole day's gone. Yeah, it's one of those days. There's no, I had no business losing that game. No business losing that game whatsoever. I just played better. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Just This has been one of the worst card-playing days I've had in you know, a decade of playing card games. This is this has just been awful. Find them. Find them. I don't think I need to play Bannerman yet. I think I can wait a turn to play Bannerman and get these other things in play first. And next turn, play Bannerman. Good. Yep, they didn't even attack. Gonna try to eat all of these and make these other attacks. They can obviously have some kind of tricks to make it so I don't eat all of them, but I'm not even making it so anything trades by getting rid of this 1 1 with my 3 2. I have never seen decisive maneuver. I have never seen de decisive maneuver in constructed ever before. But yeah, that's the the worst possible card in Noxus or Shadow Isles. If you could just you know go to the collection Noxus plus Shadow Isles, what can you possibly have for five mana? Oh, I mean, yeah, sure. I guess. I guess that's where we're at these days. Just that's where we're at today. Show them what we're 
made of. <laughs> Dude, I, don't even, I don't even know what you help I, I don't even know what the chances of that are, but all of these games have been like that so much today. It's been crazy. Just what are the the worst possible cards? Josh asks, do you think it's harder in your mindset when you're deliberately trying to rank up versus just brewing? Um, no, probably not. Probably not for myself. Um... Because I'm, I'm really just doing the same thing. Basically, with like the rank up days, like trying to rank up, I'm playing decks that, you know, like the decks that I do feel are, are very good and that I think that I'll do really well with. But I guess that may make it when something, when a day like this happens, that just everything goes crazy wrong, that that makes it harder on me, I suppose. I'm not sure. That That's possible. I could see that. Yeah, that is true though. Vladimir Rally did overperform the last time we played it, absolutely. Got a lot of wild cards today. Our golden chest that we got earlier was just four common wild cards and a rare wild card. I'm gonna like already have enough stuff for the next set. All right, Demacia midrange. That's a good draw. We haven't had turn two war chefs. Like, this is the first time we've had turn two war chefs, and war chefs is not a card I'd ever mulligan. So this is the first time that we've had it by the sixth card. Hey, look at that. We curved out. But I didn't have anything.
That went quickly. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all of our good luck in that one game. We had everything and the opponent had nothing. And that was, we used all of our, our luck there in the one game. <laughs> all right, I guess, yeah, maybe we'll be getting a comeback. I mean, that happened with the ephemeral midrange. We started 0 and 5 with ephemeral midrange and we finished 4 and 6. So we kind of had the comeback going. But then elusive burn, I was like four and three and lost the last three. And then we started one four with this. So I lost like seven out of eight matches before these two wins. I don't know why I'm not playing Fiora here. I should be playing Fiora. Should be me playing Fiora right there. I will unite the frail yard. A seven five ash? Turn four, seven, five, Ash. What? What? All right, now we'll have these barriers to help protect. Definitely assume they have another Ash Enhanced, which would be a uh, Flash Freeze. I think that's a very fair assumption. So like they can attack and then whatever I block with here, they Flash Freeze. I just don't even get to block. I just lose. I'll lead us to victory. Cool. That's fair too. Oh, I could have purified my own creature to make it so it didn't have zero power so it could block. Didn't think of that. I, I forgot Purify does that. Yeah, I, f I forgot Purify does that. Yeah, good call. Thanks there, Zabby. So I could have done that like on my 5-5, five five, for example. It wouldn't have lifelink anymore, but it would be able to block the ash. 
and then I, I could give it a barrier and it would have killed Ash. I wouldn't be able to do it on the Fiora, of course, because Fiora is a champion. Oh, that would have been that would have been really big, because then we would have killed their Ash. Yeah, and still had all that stuff. Oh, is that that's a common play in Hearthstone to silence a minion to unfreeze it? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's somebody who is not from Hearthstone, that's not really a, something I even considered. What are they doing playing this thing? By my honor, you must die. It's a 10 point life swing. You're covered. Torches. Yeah, I could have used Protector to, to make that a zero point life swing, but um I thought it was just better to play Fiora, like with curving out wise, play Fiora first. Gonna have Withering Whale. Yeah, this could definitely be a Withering Whale or. Whoa! Hey! Or Avalanche. Can you stomach this? No, I think either Withering Will or Avalanche. One banner, one I'm gonna hope it's Avalanche. Keep all these around. Well, I guess I mean, no, I guess I don't hope it's Avalanche because Avalanche would kill these. I'm gonna hope it's Withering Will. Oh, that's just swell. Yeah, it's a troop of Elnux. Five mana, three, three, whenever you play it, summon each Elnux in the top ten cards of your deck. So they got very lucky. They they got very lucky. They got all three of their bull Elnux. They were all in the top ten cards of their library. I, I ex Yeah, I expect this to get nerfed to, tomorrow when they announce it. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, the, they'll, they'll announce tomorrow what's going to get nerfed and um Your move. they'll announce that tomorrow Um, 
and then it should happen on Tuesday. So like tu this Tuesday is the next balance patch. Two down. All right, so it was a withering whale when they made that attack. Okay, let's try this out. Look out for Reavers. Fight the signal fire. That's good. All right, so we finally fought through all those Elnux. Uh, the problem is I'm only left with just a few creatures, and they have six cards in hand. So I mean, they're they're up two cards right now. I'm kind of expecting ruination, which obviously would be very bad, but that's what I'm kind of expecting. Here in your time of need. Okay, that's not ruination. By my honor, you must die. I don't know why I played that before combat, because they're obviously attacking. There's no reason not to attack. Unless they think I have a single combat. I guess that would be the reason not to attack a single combat. Wrapped in cold silence. What could have been? They gain three life, go to 11, and I'm attacking for 10. Can't get the point of damage in anymore with just a Demacia deck. The Elmux got us. Took 
Took too much to fight through them all. Took too much. One point away. I'm sure there was a spot where I could have got one extra point of damage in somehow. I'm sure there was. Yeah, the back-to-back -back was one turn too late. That would have been... That would have been better than uh, the barrier. I don't know exactly what it was, but I'm sure there was something, some way if we go back and look through that turn by turn that I could have got that extra point of damage in. Well, we had a, a great hand here, curving out really well. Um, we got double bannermen. This is this has been a very good hand. So, do I go Garen or another bannerman? It's a tough call. Who cannot? You name it, I'll nick it. I demand satisfaction. Fair. I hope they just have to use a, a real spell. I hope you really don't want them to, to use Static Shock. I want them to use, you know, Mystic Shock, get excited. You know, basically something like that. You know, like a Mystic Shot to get excited. Something like that to kill Garen. That it's not... Not just a Static Shock. The reason why I went with the Garen is because then we could, you know, go with Scythria on turn six and then have Bannerman plus Barrier for the, the turn seven. All right, I won't do bar I won't do barrier. We'll do Fiora Bannerman. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Did we get there? Bannerman. All right, so we finished another four and six. Um, yeah, basically finished another four and six. Um, I didn't play as well here with this deck as I have before and, and as I probably did the other leagues, you know, kind of getting frustrated with how today's gone. And so I, I know I didn't play my best, you know, like we had, 
we had one of those losses <clears throat> with the Ash deck that maybe if I would have purified my own thing that was Frostbite, you know, who knows how that game goes. Um, we had that other game that we just lost, lost that we got him down to one against all those Eldnox that there is probably a way for me to get another point of damage in there. But anyway, it's still my favorite deck to play. I really like playing this deck. Um, yeah, I like it. this is just an enjoyable one to play, and it's my favorite rank of deck, even though we didn't put together all of the wins, you know, but oh well. All right, so there's Demacia Midrange. Uh, again, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, if you're watching this later over there, uh, please hit that like button and leave a comment. I'd really appreciate both of those uh, if you could do that. Uh, take the time to do that. I really appreciate that. Um, but there we go. That's the Demacia Midrange. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.